We seem to be living in a time where we are increasingly stuck apart. Our train conductors or coffee baristas could be the keys to new doors in our lives, but we barely acknowledge them. So we decided to hear the stories of these Wellingtonians we pass by every day. And our first new friend was Alice from the UK, who had been living and loving it here for two years. She gave us the best Wellington brew from Maranui for our big day ahead. Stella Rise was a travelling musician who we later recognised on a poster. Derek, Carla and Joe were the architects of tomorrow and we heard Jeff's plans for Wellington's Matariki celebrations, the empathy of our police force and Adam Tapuri's dreams of a New Zealand draped in kudus. Eleanor and Lois were roller skating on the waterfront. They looked like they were out of a movie. They were relatives who moved here from Scotland after they loved their holiday here too much. Everyone seems to be out enjoying the rare Wellington winter sun. Well, we met a dog, but now he's ran back to his home. We met people and realised we knew each other from way back, shared the same struggles and could offer advice. Bianca and her friends from Argentina were out of jobs due to COVID and now we're hoping to link them up somewhere with our connections. We shared stories, debated the world's problems. You see, this was never a challenge of how many people we could meet. This was a day of recognising the true value of connections we can all have with one another. And like any good story from Wellington, this ended with rain, but a lesson learnt. So as it is said, What is the most important thing in life? He tangata, he tangata, he tangata. Your tongue can speak life. Your smile has the power to save someone. Next time you're awkwardly sitting at a bus stop or waiting for your coffee, use it.